thing we want to cover is creating the promoted links tiles. Now, there are quite a few steps to this because you have to do several different things to make this work. Um, and we're going to, we're, I'm not going to read all of this, the individual steps, but I, I will go over in the slides, I will go over the high level uh, groupings of things. So the first grouping is we're going to add the promoted links app to the site. And we're going to do that by going through these five steps. And then we're going to create a picture gallery or use an existing one. Um, for your site, you don't have any existing ones, so you'll, you'll be creating new ones. And we'll do that by going through these five steps. And that should say steps four and five above. We'll get to that shortly. The next thing we'll do is we will add links and images to the promoted links app. And then finally, we will add the promoted links tiles to a page. And we'll go through that, those five steps as well. So I'm going to take a little extra time with this because it, it it does involve a lot of steps and you can do them in just just about any order but I tend to do them in the order that we have here just because it you do it in this order you you'll be sure not to miss any steps and everything will work beautifully so the first thing and let's go back and we'll look at the steps here so the first thing is we're going to open site contents we're going to find the promoted links app we're going to give it a name. We're going to hover over the ellipsis and fix the name. Um, we're going to do, do no spaces, and I'll explain why this is another one of those best practices things. Um, so we will cover, uh, hover over the name, change the name, and then we will give it. Uh, oh, this is the second part where we'll change the name, and let's do that part first. So the first thing is we're going to go back to the, the gear icon. And there are two, there, you'll find that there's often many ways to do things in SharePoint. So this one has two ways. Add an app. We can add an app here. What I tend to do is I tend to go to site contents first um, just because I want to make sure that I am not naming something that already has a name. Um, so I, I tend to take a quick look at these things here and make sure that I'm not renaming something uh, the same thing. So. We're going to click on Add an App. And these are all the different things. These are all the different apps that you can add into SharePoint. You can add a custom list. And here's that task list that I was talking about earlier, a document library, um, a picture library. We'll, we'll get back to that in just a moment because that's the next step. Um, we can add links, announcements, ta uh, announcements apps, uh, a contact list. Here's where you can add calendars. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, we're going to type promote it, hit return, and we're going to say promote it link. Now, here's where you're going to give it a name. And the, one of the best practices that I wanted to mention is we try to not give it names with spaces. We try to, even if you have a name with multiple words, it's best to put them together here and not add spaces because every space that you add puts a percent 20 in the name or th these are different these are uh, specific characters but it'll add percent 20 and it'll have a really long name or it can have a really long name depending on how many words you use so what I do is I give it all I give it all one word uh, or however many words it is I don't add spaces uh, and then I hit create And then we want to go back and we want to fix that name. So here, this, we're on number four here. We want to hover over the ellipses next to your promoted links, the one that we just created, and, and select settings. So we'll hover here. We'll click settings. And then the very first thing is list name and, and description. So we want to say, and then we can go here and we can, we can give it a space. And if we want to add it to the quick launch at this point, we can. If we don't want to, and oftentimes you don't want to put everything in your quick launch, so most of the time this is a, this will be a no. But if we hit save, 
then we have uh, if we click on promoted links, we'll take us back to our promoted links. So right now it's empty because we haven't added anything yet. So the very next thing we want to do is we want to we want to add a picture gallery because we want um, if you don't want pictures on your tiles, then it'll give you just a general blue background. It works the same. It just doesn't have any images on it. So, but what we want to do uh, oftentimes is add images to represent what we want to display for that tile. So we're going to do it just like we uh, added the promoted links app. We're going to go to the site. We're going to add an app. This time we're going to add a per, uh, picture library and we're going to go through the exact same steps. So give it a name with no spaces. Repeat steps four and five which is hover, change the name, change the name here, and then OK. So again, we can do this from any page. We don't have to go back to our home page. We can start from here and we click this. And this time I'll go straight to it, promote, add, a, add an app. And then this time we're going to add a picture library. And oftentimes my, the first time I add a picture uh, gallery for something like promoted links things or for if I'm going to create um, links, picture links on, on any of the pages, I usually just give this gallery a, a site images name. And that's because the site, these images may be used all over the site in different places for, for different reasons. So I, you can name it anything you want. Again, try not to use any spaces. And we will go back also and like setting, change, and then give it a space. And that's it. So that part is done. So you see here where it says site images. If we had put a space in there, it would say site percent 20 or percent 20 images. So it would add characters to the site. At, at this point, it's not a big deal. But it does keep your it does keep your URLs pretty clean and it keeps them as short as possible. The next thing we want to do here is we want to we're going to add links and images. Um, actually, the first thing we need to do is we need to add some images to the site gallery. Um, and I have a couple here. There's a couple of ways to do it. You can you can add a new document and it'll ask you where you want to look and that's a typical standard Windows interface that you can go to wherever you have your document or if you know that you have a, a collection of documents you can open them up in Windows Explorer you can highlight three or four or however many that you want to add and then just drag them when you see the hover over when you see a change you can just drop them in and give it a moment and they're all there um, so adding the Im adding the links and images to the promoted links app what I do I typically open two windows two Internet Explorer windows because you're going to have to be able to go back and forth because you need the links and um, you need the links from one place to put it into your promoted links app so what we'll do is I tend to duplicate this and I pull it out and separate it and I push one against one side and one against the other side just so I can have them side by side um, and this one we're going to uh, this one I'll work from here so let's go back to our promoted link so to find our 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 apps Again, remember we go to site content, shows all of our apps. We want to go to promoted links. And you don't see the tile. You, this would be the tile view uh, by default. I'm not sure why they, why Microsoft made the tile view the default um, because you can't actually do any editing here. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get into the, you want to change the view. And to do that, you want to click list. And right here in this section where it says tile, if you hit the drop down and change that to all promoted links, 
here you will have the opportunity to add things to your your list um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click add a new item we're going to give it a title and let's call it Google just uh, basically you want to call it wherever you're linking to or wherever you want to give it a descriptive name so we're going to call this Google because we're going to link to the, to the Google website again and here is the background image so this is what your image is going to be this is what your tile is going to be so from over here on this side I'm on the left side here now we click into the image and then we can take it where we see the name of the image we'll right click and we'll put copy shortcut and we'll come back over here and we'll, we'll add that here you can give it a description sometimes I do sometimes I don't most of the time I give it I say something here it's usually the exact same thing as this to be honest with you um, here there is when we look at our tiles in the tile view there if we hover over them there's a, a, a shade that comes up that gives us more additional information so this is where you want to give additional information and you can't there isn't a lot of room but it, it's enough for a short sentence and then here is where we'll actually add the link itself so once again I'll grab that link and then I'll put it here and again, like I said, usually in these uh, type of description boxes, I usually add the same thing as the title. You don't have to, you can add it anyway. This right here is launch behavior. So if you want, if you when you click on your tile, if you wanted to change the page that you're looking at and go to the new page, then you'll choose inside in page navigation. If you wanted to bring up um, a little sort of shadow box over the top of the page that you're in then you'll click dialog and it'll just you click them you'll click your tile and it'll open a shadow box with a new link if you wanted to go to a new tab a brand new tab because you want your users to stay on the same to be able to go back and back to the page that they were on then you click new tab um, I typically don't use dialog for, for these um, I use dialogs for other things like forms and things like that but I typically don't use them for this I use in page navigation probably 80% of the time and then about the other 20% of the time I'll use a new tab it just depends on the launch behavior that I wanted if it's something that we really just want them to take them to the new page and and still be able to go back to the old page because they need to refer to information that's on that old page then I'll use new tab but 90 almost 80% of the time I say uh, in page navigation is fine order if you have six different tiles on the list or if you have five tiles and you want to add a, a sixth one but you want to put it in the third place slot then this is where you change the order so you can add order here so at this point it's the first tile so we'll just click save now you have and that's basically all there is to adding these so you'll you'll do that multiple times until you get all the, the the links that you wanted added and to see the tiles you once again will go back and change the view here so we'll click list in this box we'll click the drop down we'll click tiles and it'll there it is if you hover over it it'll say there's your description so click that takes us to Google just like it's as expected um, and it'll you will just do that to all of the pages I mean, all of your your links and the last part is adding it to a page and that's pretty easy also we're going to um, if we if we have a specific page that we want to add it to then we'll just go to that page and we'll uh, insert a web part and we'll add it to the we'll add the loop to, to the page or actually it's a web part or an app part um, this is actually an app part but um, I'll show you in just a moment that it also um, 
shows up in the web parts. So let's say we want to add it to um, we didn't create any pages, so let's let's create a, a new page um, because I don't want, your site is live and I don't want to change anything there. So let's add a new page that we can get real later. And this is just adding an additional page and give it a name. Um, we'll create that page. So here we're we're in edit mode already, um, but let's say we this page was already created. Let's get out of edit mode. So what we'll do is we'll either you, if you see edit here, you can click edit here. If you don't see it, you can click the gear icon and click edit page. It'll take you to the the edit page dialog, and you want to click on the insert. In the um, in the, uh, the the ribbon, and here, uh, normally, you you can go to directly to app part and add promoted links. But like I was saying earlier, even if you went to web web part, if you click on apps, apps basically shows you all of the app parts. And I'll show you some of these in, in the next thing that we're going to do, adding the tableau play, uh, the tableau to the screen. So for now, we want to add our promoted links, and it won't say promoted links for you. It'll say whatever you, whatever name you gave it. Um, and then we want to save, and it'll ask us if we want to check it in. So right here it says promoted links. Generally, you don't want to see that. Sometimes you do. There have been times where they, we gave it a specific name so that people know what these links were referring to. But generally, if you just want to see the icons, let's show you how to. Let's go back into our edit mode. If we hover over this web part or this app part, we'll see this little box and a drop down. If we click edit web part, we'll be able to go in here. And what we need to do is we need to go into appearance and down here under Chrome type, it'll say default, it'll say none, which is what we want. It'll say title and border, which will give it a title, and it'll put a border around the the, the um, web part like you see here in this blue. Or it'll say title only, which is basically default. Or it'll say border only, which will put just the border but no title. For what we want, we want none because we just want it to, to stand alone. We'll click OK. And then we'll click save to exit edit mode. And now we see just the web part. So that is, um, oh, and depending on what type of page you, you're using, you may have to check it in. If you see this blue bar, you want to check it in. You can give it comments. I often do. Um, but that's just usually for me because I'm, if I ever go back to, later on to check the version I want to see what what changed at any given point but it this is this is definitely optional it's it's un, it's not necessary it's just something that I do to uh, be able to go back and say okay five weeks ago this is what I did when I changed it and I'm the one that changed it also so it also gives me that kind of information I, I said cancel so we put continue and then it'll ask you if you want to publish it, I think. Yep, publish it. So right now, only people with certain permissions can see this. If you want to publish it to where the visitors and anyone that comes to your site can see it, you want to hit publish. And then that's that's all there is to it. So really easy to do, just a lot of steps to go through.